I mean, I, I know the material now, I know how it works, but I still have no clue what this is going to look like when it's yeah. finished. Yeah. So it's, it's like every good piece I've made starts out as an experiment, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Being able to experiment and have fun with this piece will be, will be kind of a um, breath of fresh air. Being an artist is extremely lonely, as I've said before. So having people around really, uh, whether it's for, you know, bouncing off ideas or having a great conversation or even taking you away from the art, it's a very important thing. Everyone that hangs out here is actually very intelligent. So, you know, it keeps me on my toes and it helps me um, to see a different different way of thinking because we all disagree constantly but that's the best part you know and uh, being around these guys has really been good for me. My name is Benjamin Scott Methven. I'm 54 years old. My name is Eric Erdo. I'm an artist. I am primarily a painter. My name is uh, Frederic Coutier. I'm an uh, artist, artisan and uh, interior designer. He started going into doing big faces with these screw paintings and that was very intriguing to me. These screw pieces are really um, an amalgam of, a, of, a, of a many different uh, techniques and uh, abilities and sensitivities. To paint oil painting on top of the head of the screw and uh, what it can do with something unusual and make out with that blow me away. The other, the other inter interesting thing about uh, the screw pieces is uh, seeing that link between his earlier two-dimensional work and his uh, uh, figurative uh, sculpture pieces. His work takes on so many different forms of expression. Um, I've seen these works start from a simple thing. Uh, he'll see someone and he says, oh, it was, uh, the, you know, the way the light may, may hit their face or um, I had this idea, this, uh, this kind of vision, if you will, in my mind. And he will go about in um, a kind of very methodical process, but it's not a methodical process that eliminates happenstance and creative impulse. Mm -hmm.
are the nature of what these screw pieces are. Are they portraits? Um, you know, the lines between uh, figuration and sculpture and two-dimensional art. These portraits are just as much a portrait of himself in the creative process as they are actual people in his lives. I know Andrew for five years now. If uh, if I have a smile in my face, uh, it's because uh, this uh, masterpiece uh, touched my heart. I don't see the technique first, I see just the message behind. And after that, I will see uh, the technique and to see how many layers in every step. And um, this is blow me away, this is fantastic. If you have a great moment in life and you can't share it with people, it it might as well have never happened because you can't, I mean I enjoy things that I do, but I enjoy it more when other people look at them and they actually get what I was trying to say. Look, when you have an idea, it doesn't matter if you're sitting across the table from the best artist in the world, they can't see your idea. And no matter how you explain it, mm -hmm. they don't see the finished piece, and you do. An idea could be um, the next best piece, so you just got to believe in yourself. It's not about the portrait anymore. It's, it's, now it's about um, the material and what, you know, creating, creating a, an environment, I guess, for these screws and put them into motion. You know, it's not, I don't want that um, dead portrait look anymore. So I want to actually make a scene, something that appears to be happening that isn't really happening. So you're, you're not only getting the 3D effect that's, mm -hmm. that's a lie, it's an effect um, because of the screws, but then you're getting another effect that the fan is actually in motion and that something is actually blowing off the page. So it's kind of a test to see how far I can push this material. When I'm working, my mind is um, blank. Things could be happening around me. I, I, you know, sometimes I catch myself in the studio doing a little dance, yeah. you know, just because I have no idea of my surroundings at that point. I'm just in it. Yeah. And it's, it's complete focus. And all I can think about is what I'm doing when I'm working. 
picking up a drill and, you know, screwing, you know, uh, drywall screws into a wood is not necessarily something that they teach you uh, in art school. It's not necessarily something that uh, you may pick up in a class. These are special and they're very labor intensive. It takes many, many, many man hours. Um, you know, it takes a lot of hours to do an oil painting, but this is an oil painting and a sculpture. And painting on screw heads is not as easy as it is on a flat surface. You know, if, if I'm not true to myself, I'm the first one that knows it. And it bothers me. Now, if I try to do something that isn't me, um, I fail at it. 